What is up guys, Jarv here, back today jumping into Destiny 2. Now in our video today we're taking a look at the Gnawing Hunger Auto Rifle. This is possibly one of the best auto rifles currently in the game, so if you don't have one then this will be the video for you. Now if you enjoy the video be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content then be sure to hit subscribe as well. But without further delay guys, let's jump into the video. Now, with the launch of the current season, Season of the Worthy, we've seen a big rise in the use of auto rifles, and we've covered quite a few of them on this channel. We've covered the Galliard, we've covered the Arc Logic, and today we're looking at the Gnawing Hunger. And these are all 600 RPM auto rifles, and those are some of the strongest currently in the game at the moment. Now, what makes the Gnawing Hunger stand out is its unique set of perks, but also how you can actually go about obtaining this weapon as well. So, to kick us off, let's take a look at the weapon itself. So, as I mentioned earlier, this is a 600 rounds per minute auto rifle. It comes with 43 in the magazine by default and it's a void element as opposed to the arc of the arc logic and the solar of the galliard. Now as well as that it's also adaptive frame so it has a well-rounded grip, is reliable and sturdy. Now the great thing about this weapon is there are different roles that are suitable both for PvE and PvP which give this weapon a great level of diversity over its counterparts. Now in terms of barrel options, which is the options of choice of the first column, similar to the arc logic, we're probably going to be looking for something like arrowhead break. This is going to help boost your range, but also give you important stability on the recoil direction of plus 30. In the second column, if you're looking for a crucible roll, you'll be looking for anything with accurized rounds. This will give you an extra plus 10 to your range stat. Outside that though, then it's possibly going to be things like tactical mag and appended mag, or even extended mag, basically anything that will extend your magazine size, ideally without the penalty to reload. So with that in mind, then we're probably looking at tactical mag or appended mag as the preferred options there. Now, if you're fortunate enough to get the curated roll, which we'll cover off in a short moment, you'll already have arrowhead break and appended mag, which are ideal options. Outside that, you'll have the unique perk overflow, where picking up special or heavy ammo reloads this weapon to beyond its normal capacity, and that will be paired with rampage in this particular weapon. And when those two things stack together, you'll be having rampage stacks to three for a very long time, which makes it fantastic for mowing down ads in PvE. If you get a randomly rolled version though, you'll have the option of either tap the trigger, Zen Moment, or Subsistence as the preferred options. If you're looking for something in the Crucible, then Zen Moment will be a great shout, as causing damage with this weapon whilst having that perk also increases its stability. Outside that, Tap the Trigger will grant you a short period of increased stability and accuracy on your initial trigger pull, and Subsistence is very much a PvE perk, but kills partially reload the magazine from reserves, but the reserve capacity is reduced. And finally in the last column, if you're looking for a PvP roll, then Kill Clip will most definitely be the preferred option there. This is where reloading after a kill grants increased damage. Outside that, for PvE, obviously Rampage is a fantastic choice which stacks up to three times and gives you a temporary boost to damage, but also Multi-Kill Clip is a fantastic option where reloading grants increased damage based on the number of rapid kills you make beforehand. So those are just some of the roles that you'll be looking for. If you're going for PvE, then the curated role is definitely a fantastic shout, but if you're looking for a PvP weapon, then you're going to need something like Zen Moment and Kill Clip to get that time to kill down. Now with that all being said, how do you even get this weapon? Well the Norin Hunger can be obtained from the Reckoning activity, you'll find this under the Gambit node over on the main director. Now the Reckoning itself has three difficulties, tier 1, tier 2 and tier 3. Now the one we're looking for is tier 3, but specifically when the likeness of Oryx is in rotation and that will be the case after this week's weekly reset. So if you don't have it currently, as of the reset tomorrow, be sure to jump into the Reckoning and grind this as best as you can. Now for a few hints and tips on the Reckoning itself, you can obviously do this solo, but it is much quicker with a preformed fire team, especially if you're looking to farm the likeness of Oryx in the most efficient manner. Now with this activity and being heavily orientated around the Taken, any Taken mods that you've got from previous seasons that you can apply to your armor will be a massive benefit here. Things like Taken Barrier and Taken Armaments will be fantastic for you in terms of giving you extra protection, but also granting you extra power ammo. And when you pair that with things like Xenophage, which is a fantastic weapon at the moment, which will really help you out when you're trying to farm the likeness of Oryx as quickly as you possibly can. Now the reason we're looking for the likeness of Oryx is there are two entirely separate loot pools depending on the final encounter. Now when the likeness of Oryx is in rotation and you're on tier 3, you get exclusive access to the Gnawing Hunger Auto Rifle, which is what we're chasing, but also the Doomsday Grenade Launcher. So as long as you're running tier 3 on the likeness of Oryx, then you're in with a chance of getting the weapon that you want. 
And finally, another thing to bear in mind with the Reckoning is that you have a RNG protection on tier 3. So if you don't get a weapon drop in a particular run, you'll be guaranteed a weapon on your very next run. So we know what the roles are that we're looking for and we know how to get this weapon. But what makes it so good? Well, if we take a look at the created role with Overflow and Rampage, if you can keep that on stacks times three and then pair that with something like an auto loading holster shotgun in your primary slot, you can pretty much keep that uptick of Rampage going over and over again, which is fantastic for taking out ads and makes you a complete tank when it comes to mowing down massive groups of ads. Now, in terms of PvP, being a 600 rounds per minute auto rifle puts this in the strongest category of auto rifles in the game at the moment. And when you pair that with stability boosting perks like Zen Moment and damage increasing perks like Kill Clip, it makes it a very strong and deadly weapon inside the Crucible. Now, much like the art logic, you only have barrel options available, but this weapon has a fantastic scope on it, which gives you excellent field of view in the short to mid range and makes those encounters very easy and deadly as well. Now, is this better than the art logic? I believe so. Is it better than the Galliard? Well, with the right perk combination, it absolutely can be. And the great thing about this weapon is that its perks grant it excellent diversity. So you can use it both in PvE and PvP and be as deadly as anything in either of those game modes. So there we have it guys, that is the Gnawing Hunger Auto Rifle, possibly the most diverse and deadly auto rifle in the game currently at the moment. And if you don't have one, be sure to farm one out this week if you really need to. Now if you have enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a rating down below, that super helps me out here on the channel. And if you're new around here and want to keep up to date with all the latest Destiny 2 content, then be sure to hit subscribe as well. I'm going to jump back into the game as always guys, but I will catch you all again very soon.